Hello and welcome. I'm Peggy O'Neill. I'm the founder of Answering the Call and I'm very glad you're here today. Say hi in the comments if you're here in person and if you're watching on replay, please put in hashtag replay. Love knowing that you're here. And if at any time you have questions, comments, please put them in here. Even on replay, I will come back and answer anything, address anything you ask. So again, welcome. And um, um, so as I said, I'm the founder of Answering the Call. So what is Answering the Call? Well, obviously it's a Facebook community. And it's a community where we're um, exploring and then knowing who we truly are, our essential nature. It's the call, that sense of, I'm not quite happy. I know there's something else uh, going on here in the world. Why can't we all get along? Or, or, or that we've been seeking our whole lives and we realize the way we've been seeking hasn't been working. So we wind up coming home to ourselves, returning to where our true happiness, peace, and love is, which is in our own essential nature, or is our own essential nature. And then a second part of answering the call is then revealing to ourselves and expressing that essential nature of love, peace, and happiness in my own unique way. That's what we're doing here in Answering the Call. Welcome. And today, we're specifically exploring how to know if I'm ready for the real journey and what to do if I am. How to know if I'm ready for the real journey and what to do if I am. So, um, so this is from a quote from Wendell Berry. He wrote, when we no longer know what to do, we have come to our real work. When we no longer know what to do, we have come to our real work. And when we no longer know which way to go, we have begun our real journey. So let's explore that. So I said we'd focus on the signs, what the real work is, and the answer to the question, well, I have to give up everything. So the first, what are the signs, if I'm ready for the real journey? It, it can be things like feeling depressed. Now, I don't mean clinical depression. That's a different conversation beyond what we do. But I'm feeling kind of down. I'm kind of depressed. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I can tell I'm forcing things in life. I'm make, having to make things happen and work really hard to make things happen. Hey, Sue. So happy you're here. Thank you. Um, so those are all clues that um, we're on a different journey than the one we're referring to today because the real journey, uh, uh, sorry, the lives that are really possible for us don't have to be all this forced energy. We, we are essentially happy, as I said, essentially happy, loving, and peaceful if we're not experiencing that and or if we haven't connected with that and are aligning our lives to live more fully with that then we're, we're, on, we're on a different path, but often when we keep seeking, we're, we're still not happy, that's when we're ready. That's how we know that we're ready. Um, and, uh, and so we've tried everything we know to do. That's what happened to me. Lots of coaching, lots of courses, lots of inner work, on and on, and I was still like, something's off here. So that's how I knew. Okay, I'm ready for some other journey. I didn't have those words that Wendell Berry used but that's what I, that's where I was. I didn't know what to do any longer. And um, so that's when I get to go, we get to go to our real work. And when we don't know which way to go, which I didn't, I just shut her all down, moved everything to my mom's, um, began the real journey. But, so the signs are, like I said, we're kind of tired. We're forcing life. We've tried everything we know to do. And there's not you know, we're, we just, and we don't know what to do. There's not a direction. There's not, I don't know really what to do next. And sure, we all know how to go get a job, how to make money, how to, you know, stay healthy. We all know those things. And so that's not what we're referencing here. We know all that. But it's when, when we feel lost with being able to, to live our own unique, purposeful, and meaningful life. So what is the real work? Well, the real work, I would say, is knowing who you essentially are, who I essentially am, what the universe is, what is the reality in which I live. And not just knowing it conceptually, 
but knowing it in a full body, embodied sense, really knowing it. And so, um, um, oh, so the doing part, sometimes I write these notes <laughs> just a few hours, just an hour ago. I'm like, what does that mean? Sorry. So, um, I always think I'll remember what I mean. So, so when we no longer know what to do, so doing as used in that is also, um, is connected with the knowing because often when we think about knowing what to do, we're using our intellect, right? We think, well, do I know what to do? So we start thinking about it or we, and we start trying to rationally figure things out. We use that language. I'm going to figure this out or I'm, I'm going to know, but we mean know like intellectually, or maybe we look, try to get books to help us out. So that's the way I'm inter, I don't know how he interpreted it. This is the way I'm interpreting it for purpose of our conversation to go today. So when we no longer know what to do, then again, that's the intellect saying, you know, we've, we've run the course of the intellect. So, so, so that's, that's part of it. And then, um, but we can know in our being, like that's what would bring somebody to this community is we know we're sensing that there's a call. We're sensing I'm being pulled somewhere. We're starting to sense into something else in my life. So we've gone past the knowing. We don't know what to do. So we've come to our real work, which begins with sensing. So we can know in our being, which is a different form of knowing. And we have to want to know in this way because we're not taught this. It can be challenging um, because what we want to know and what we do know as we start this the real work and the real journey is that we're one with the universe. We're always talking with the universe. The universe is always talking to us. We're always talking to it. And so it's starting to discern the difference between what the universe is saying and what my rational mind is trying to say. And so we listen, we stay open, and open to things that don't seem to fit. We, our rational mind must go, oh, that's not it, that's not it. So wait a minute, that's in front of me right now. So let me sit with that. Let me maybe explore that before I throw it away. And then again, what the real work is, the real journey, and the real journey, the real journey is to know who you are and live, and live aligned with that. Or that's what I'm offering today. The real journey is to know who you are and to live aligned with that. And now the answer to the question, will I have to give up everything? No, in my experience, no, <laughs> no. Um, you, I mean, you can, some people do that. They give up everything and go to a monastery. Of course, there are people that have gone that path and they realize that still didn't support what they were looking for. Um, so people can give up everything and think that's going to help them somehow. That's part of the journey. So that's not, that's not it. It's, it's the other things we're talking about today. So in my experience, no, you don't have to give up everything. And yet, what gets challenging is to be willing to give up everything. It's part of what's often called surrender. And I know a lot of us don't like the word surrender because it's like we're giving up ourselves to something else. Surrender in this sense means I'm open, I'm allowing, I'm releasing my need to control. So uh, so being willing to can be very challenging. Um, uh, it, it takes trust. Can I trust the universe? Can I trust source, which is also me? Can I trust that everything will be taken care of? Now it doesn't, and we still take action. We still take action. We are not here in a human body to, to experience the human experience to sit on the couch all day. I mean, unless you're already doing that again. There are people, there are monks that go live that way. But even they, you know, they still cook, clean, take care of things. So, so but, but trusting in a different way, not trusting in that I have to get all, do all this or make all this happen, but trusting in the listening and that the universe might know something I don't know. So we're listening that way. That takes trust and vulnerability to be open, to, to, to fall down, to not know for sure. And, um, 
and understanding the laws of the universe, which is really another conversation beyond today, but that's part of it too, knowing that we're all energy. So there are laws of the universe that most of us aren't familiar with related to energy, which is what we really are. So that's that would be part of it too. Beyond today, we will get into that in the near future. So, so when we understand that, understand who we truly are, we don't have to give up everything, staying open, um, and, and, then, and then when we understand the laws of the universe, that we're all energy, then it opens up a whole new way. So today it's more like a teaser, right? That, that by understanding the laws of the universe and know the universe is abundant and trust that, so we're living aligned with that feeling of trust, that feeling of abundance, that feeling of knowing it's all going to be okay, uh, the feeling of I'm taken care of, then that starts shifting the energies of the universe in a way that things come to us that support us. Now that takes, um, that takes some, usually some work because we've got to align and harmonize ourselves with the energies of the universe. So that's just a brief tease about some of the conversations we'll be having in the near future because um, we don't, if we're working really hard to make something happen, that's out of alignment with the laws of the universe. The universe is, is, is we're set up here to receive energetically, to receive things, to flow, be in a flow of energy, to be in a flow of receptivity. So that happens to be one of my not so song, strong suits, receptivity. So I've been really focusing on harmonizing myself with receptivity lately. So, uh, but that's one of the laws of the universe. So we align with those. So are there any questions? So the real work is um, what, what I've said today. It's the um, knowing who we are to, um, to um, uh, the nature of the universe, to begin to align ourselves with that. And, and so, so that's the, the, uh, the real work is knowing those things and then integrating it into our being and so then that moves into the journey as we're integrating it into our being which means all of our activities that we're engaged in our activities aligned with who we truly are relationships we're engaged in relationships aligned with who we truly are um, and then all activities like making money how do we live how do we make a living how do we support ourselves and other people um, that maybe we're responsible for supporting um, and then our conversations, our thoughts, our um, emotions, that we align and align and align. So that's, that's the work and the journey. So anything else? So we covered the signs, you'll know, <laughs> we just know. If you're here in this community, <laughs> then, then you know what the signs are because you're here. Um, and then the real work is um, is a different form of knowing, knowing who we are, and integrating that, experiencing that, moving from our head into our being more often. And, and then that's part of the journey as well, aligning everything. And then living all out as our essential nature, expressing all out our essential nature and who we truly are, and then what our unique expression is. All right, Sue, I think you're it. So any questions, comments, thank you for being here. And I guess not. So uh, uh, if you do, if you watch this on replay, please, um, please put any comments, questions in there. I will answer. And next week, we will be back on Thursday at 2 o'clock Central. Thanks for hanging in there with me the last couple of weeks when I've had to move this uh, for other conflicts that I need to take care of. All right, and if you're in the United States, um, this is July the 1st, uh, wishing you a happy holiday on Monday. Happy and safe holiday weekend.